All right, we're back for another consummate opinion. That was really loud. I was enjoying that song, too. It's been a while since I've heard that. Sorry about that. It, it has been a while. Uh, Ernest decided to get loud. Let's see. So uh, tonight, uh, interns here, of course. Yay. Uh, the Liege, that's me. Um, McBride up, and... In case you don't know who the Liege is, it's, it's Joyce. Joyce. Yeah. No, it's Liege. The yeah. douche. Yeah. And uh, Grim- douche Grimace is here. Uh, you know it's a vinegar-based cleansing product. Right. Where for does the it go? In the corner of that couch? The vagine. <laughs> the corner of the couch. Where you're sitting. So I'm I'm a vagine now? No, douche. I was still on douche. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry? Something definitely just fell over in the kitchen. Or someone's breaking in, one of the two. Uh, it's just a really it's a really black guy. Don't worry. Yay. That's I believe <laughs> I locked the front door. No, no I won't I, stop him. Uh, oh, yeah, you went out last. I was going to say I, I locked the front door. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll we'll start with what's new with you, but we'll start on that side today because the what's new with you on yeah. this side is probably a That's little bit longer. That's going to eat up some clock. All right, so uh, Grimace, so uh, what's new with you? Well, you got to throw it to me first. Uh, well, no, nothing much. Uh, my my f- friend from a long time who's been gone for about five years is now moving back down into the general area. Well, that's good timing. And uh, I'm quite excited about that. Uh, him and my uh, four goddaughters will be down here next month. And four that's daughters, br- brutal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, if something happens to him, I have five daughters. Oh. <laughs> so that, that's, that, that's pretty much is it. Is that We're legal? to move him and all that, and that, that's uh, pretty much all that's new with me. And it's not even what's new with me. Man, after like... It's been like what a month. It's been too I, long. I'm a stay home dad. I mean, it my daughter might be learned like three more words. If, the, if that been. brings you where you need to be. <laughs> what are they? Uh, oops. Shit, piss, and vinegar. <laughs> oops. Douche. I think she wants to say shit. She, oh yeah, she's absolutely. She's definitely aiming for shit, and I, I thank my mom for <laughs> that. Um. <laughs> Is she aiming her shit yet? <laughs> no, no, no. Still, still going all in the diaper. Yeah, good. Unfortunately. But yeah, that's about it. Right. McBride, what's new with you? You know, every time this comes to me, I have I, I know them. You know what I mean? Like when you go and take you a test. You draw a blank. You take a test and you know all this. It's like you're taking basic being awesome class. You get to question three and you're like, blah, 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 I read this. Oh, yeah, I know that. And just answer. And I don't know the answer. Nothing. I mean, <laughs> you didn't mow the lawn. I did not. It's terrible out there. That is extremely long. Terrible. Always a go-to if I don't have any. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Two days from now, I'm. School's getting crazy, but it's cool. Um, Penny's crawling. Baby's like in full crawl mode for about three weeks to a month now. That must be cute. Uh, That's so awesome. Um, She's almost in stand mode. We have to like put the arm up. You know, we had a crib with like the raisable and low level sign. You got to keep it up now because she's she's on the move. Wow. How how did you find that? That's been outlawed for a few years now. It's actually a crib that's about probably 200 years old. Oh, okay. It's been in my family and my since then. I have a a bassinet like that. My dad's brother uh, broke his two front teeth was from one of those. Yeah, I'm sure that explains a lot of my problems. They're falling out of bed. Yeah. They just collapse just as easy as they go up. Ours is is pretty righteous. I never fell out. My brother never fell out. It like goes up and it's actually like a hook. Like it goes in and down. Yeah, I've seen those. Not like a latch or anything. Uh, Old cribs, how they used to go up and down. So this is legitimately how many generations back to this crib? Oh, it was mine, my mom's, my cousin's, my aunt's dad, and it goes back. It's probably 150, 200 years old. Oh, that's pretty really old. Yeah, the bassinet I have, uh, my grandma had as a child, like when she was a baby. And so it would be 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 around 100 at least, if not more past that. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's so old that, like, we had to buy one of those mesh Velcro things that goes around because the holes, with those, the the holes are so too big. big, and, like, baby's heads go right through yeah, them. Yeah. Never happened with me because, as you can see, I so got a big old head. But Would your bassinet be considered Victorian style? Douche-torian, I think. Douche-torian. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't think it's that old, but no? uh, okay. it, it is an old bassinet, yeah. Uh, uh, things like that. Dirty out. old bassinet? <laughs> old, old, old bassinets would completely freak me out. Crib's not so bad, but the old bassinets, those can get pretty... Uh, we had one, and, like, we used looking. it. Probably three times. She yeah. just would not have it. At that age, they're just not having it. You know what I mean? And they wake up so frequently. And yeah, she just ended up in the bed with us. That yeah, we, we do that sometimes. I know exactly what you guys mean. All of it. I, you I will. know all of it. You will. Eventually. Your time will come. 
Yeah. That's when the team oh. four times a night. Get it? I see what he did there. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Her time will come. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And he said four times. That's a reference to show's dick. Oh, First reference man. of the night. It takes longer to get there, but it'll come. Other than that, nothing really. Just, you know, life's good. Good right. enough. So uh, what's new with me? Let's see. I guess what's new with us. I'd let the intern take this one. Spoiler alert. Well, no, no. I'll let her have the heat portion of this, and I'll say all the positives. She'll say all the negatives. Let's just segue into it. Spoiler alert. You're moving. Uh, moving, yes. Uh, well, we've talked about this before, that we thought it might happen, and it, and it did. And uh, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a, a good thing. Where? Uh, to New York City. New York City? Well, where exactly? I'm wanting to do that for two months. Well, where I'll be working will be in... We'll uh, be living in Harlem. That's th- the answer. Thank you. That's Harlem what I'm for. Harlem. Well, where I'll be working will be right by Madison Square Garden so you're, train station. So you're going to live... Yeah. I mean, that's freaking New York City. So apparently, you're blacker than DeGaff now. Yeah, I mean, he's living in Hagerstown, Maryland. You live in Harlem, dude. I was going to say, I mean, he, you know, the White House. You're more ghetto than him. And, and now you live in Harlem. Well, You're when, definitely more ghetto. Well, you remember John, right? From West Shore, the, John? Yeah, yeah, I know him. All right, well, when him, when I went up to New York, he was up there, and I was hanging out with Charles. We went, uh, we said we wanted to go to Rucker Park just to see Rucker Park, like oh, famous basketball idea. court in Harlem. Went there, and John goes, out of the three of us, Charles will stand out the most. De Gaff. Yeah. He will it stand been, out the it's most. It's been cleaned up. It has been cleaned up. But uh, uh, just for the Harlem experience, then we decided to yeah, get it, a. Uh, it is something uh, to say like, that, though. Like you a, live in Harlem. A 24 ounce Cold? beer. No. no. It, was actually, it was actually a Bud Light. Oh. And uh, it was in a paper bag. We put a straw through it and sat in a corner. We're just like, all right. Did you pour one out? No. No. Too expensive. I felt weird. <laughs> when we were in the, the train station, we were just walking around with them. I was like, is this legal to walk around oh. with these big ass beers? That we bought from Taco <laughs> Bell at Penn Station. <sighs> They're like, it's a different yeah, it's world. Legal, as long as it's a different it world. Bag. Yeah. Keep it in the bag. You're good. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Even with um, glass. Wow, that's crazy. No, no, no. That was uh, the cans. Oh, the cans. Twenty four ounce cans. Um, so let's see. Uh, we leave next Wednesday, which is a week from today. So we're trying to get at least one more show. I want to do more as many shows as possible we'll do if it fits with. Moving and things like that. All of our there's adult a, there's lives. There's a lot he wants to do before we. We're gonna get some portable microphones and hauling boxes out to the truck. Yeah, we could put. Well, we get some Backstreet Boy headphone mic things. Yeah. Put them <laughs> on while. Oh we're yeah, that's live from location inside the moving truck. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. Baby, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> and that'll be the last thing. <laughs> uh, um, and the truck breaks down two blocks down the road. <laughs> no, it's a Penske truck. I don't think it will. Never, it should be never right. happened. You know, I think about how bad it would suck loading up the truck on our hill driveway. We're not going our to. Hill yard. You're paying someone to do it, right? No. That's one thing I've made a decision in my life. I am never not paying for help moving. I'm never really? doing it again. You know, never. I had a pickup truck. Last time I moved, I said I'm never doing it without a dolly, and I spent like 60 bucks on a dolly. Best thing I ever did in my life. Well, we have a dolly. We'll have that. Okay. Now, I'm never moving again without paying for help. I don't care if it's just... Paying some like small company to help load it in the truck and then unload it. I don't want them to set everything up and everything. They don't have to box everything up. Someone's helped me move that shit. See, I had a pickup truck all through when I started driving. I still own one. And everyone I knew that moved locally, you know, obviously not to New yeah, York. It's the bane of having a pickup truck. Can you help me move? Can you help no. me move? Can you help me move? Can you help me move? Dude. I, I can't even tell you how many people I know. You don't have to. Before. I have a pickup truck. And I'm tall. Those are the worst two things you can be when it comes to helping other people. Yeah, tall all day long at work. Oh, can you can you can you get that for me? I can't reach it. And then later, can you help me move? Actually, I, no, I'm done. I uh, the, one of the last people I helped move. We were going from Vanellas to Pasco over the bridge on 19. And uh, <laughs> I was in the truck for that. Was that you? Yeah, I was. Was that you with the mattress fiasco? Yep. <laughs> Okay, well, anyways, we're uh, driving down, probably doing 60, 65 miles an hour. Smart. In the fast uh, lane, even. In the the left lane, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Hazard lights not on. Both of us loaded this, didn't even think about putting it at the correct angle, so we had the bed... up towards the cab makes sense okay so we're just so dry- as to catch more wind exactly I I and we're i mean we we made it from clearwater yeah all the way up there we had maybe two miles left before i, I think we were we made it from drew over the tarpon bridge and we yeah. were literally going to 
I think it was maybe somewhere off Moog. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was in Holiday. It was close. No, it wasn't me. Oh, okay. No, so anyways, we're going, and all of a sudden, it gets really bright outside yeah. because it was a split window, just single cap truck, right? Oh, so your all big old truck? Just, just came, my old truck, yes. yes. My, all the sun just came in through the back, and we turn around and look, and there's a box spring floating down 19 <laughs> and a mattress being dragged behind my truck because that was the only chains. thing we could tie. Did you have chains? No, or it was just rope. Rope. So by the time, and you know that bridge, there's nowhere to turn around. So by the time we turned around and stopped, put the mattress back on, turned around to go get the box spring, somebody had nailed it, completely destroyed the oh, box, box spring. spring. Wood everywhere. I mean, just That's horrible. Amazing. If it was a car, it, 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 the guy was not happy. I was so just inspired by this story to just, be uh, to gaff. Hold on. I was inspired. You so that what? mattress had no chains on it, right? No chains. I'm assuming it was white. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... So we, we turn around, we see the box spring destroyed. Uh, we decide just to just continue obliterate going, it in the road. Yeah, in the awesome. middle of the road. We continue. Did the guy who hit it stop or anything? No, he was no, gone. Was no one we couldn't see anybody. That's good. Yeah. What'd you do today? I it's blew up a mattress. They don't even care. Highway. But we just we just took off. We left the mattress in the middle of the road. It was it wasn't worth it. I didn't want to get a ticket or anything. And we bring it to this poor girl who had just broken up with her boyfriend. Or Sorry, husband. we destroyed your bed. Exactly. We're like, well, here's your mattress with road rash all over it, and you no longer have a box spring. But you hand him a toothpick of it at least or something. No, like, where's my twenty dollars in gas? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and she still handed over the money. I didn't feel kind of bad. I like to think that somewhere in this world, the guy who hit that is telling the story from the different perspective right now. Well, you know, that if guy is, somewhere is the same, no, he's the same guy that decided to back into my truck at the mall a couple weeks later and blow out the tail light and do all that. I'm sure it's the same guy. Got to be. So, Carver, yeah. yeah, it, it just think I, about I, I how little that. gas mileage you were getting in that truck. Uh, when the motor mattress. was built, can you imagine when that? Well, it was before, it was pre motor. You only got it? like twelve. Yeah, yeah. well, right? no, it was probably about ten at yeah. that time. When I got, I the, highballed it with twelve. <laughs> well, when I when I by the time I got the by the time uh, Scott and I got done building that motor, it literally got four to five miles to the gallon. And you had a giant mattress just sailing it all the way home. You're oh, probably absolutely. getting like it was probably negative at that point. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, just to keep that truck running, I. Uh, Probably you know it was it had two tanks oh so uh, it was about forty dollars a tank because you could like only put in an airplane 90, or something. You could only put in ninety three. That was the lowest you could put in it. So uh, yeah, I, I half my paycheck went to fuel. Oh man, easily. Brutal. Let's see what else did you want to know about the uh, move I up totally there? forgot that was you. I thought it was Josh. I forgot that that uh, was, was you. me. Yeah. We inter- did we interrupt you? No. Well, we got on a whole other subject. We were we still did. talking about Harlem and uh, we Mattress were talking flying. about the uh, the walk. That uh, the intern oh she's is trying to make to, yeah. well no she should no she's not afraid of it you should be no 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 well going to that pizza place yeah uh, because from what I've been told Fifth Avenue is the border mm-hmm. it's like the train track the other side of the tracks no go to the other side mm-hmm. of the tracks that's dummy so Fifth Avenue is probably maybe three four streets over so you just don't go over there. You can go up to that point, but you don't go past that yeah, point. Yeah, no. Kind of like the, Central and St. Pete? Unless you're looking for yeah. trouble or really good food. The uh, <laughs> Actually, there's a really good place. I know. Of course there is. All, All the most dangerous places chicken? in cities have the best food. No. Is it That's good chicken? Our, yeah, I actually had fried chicken. Yeah, yeah that, the worst place right in Clearwater, did. a gas station. Horrible place in Dodges? Clearwater. No, no, no. Dodge is good. But I'm talking hole in the wall, chicken grease on the ground, dirty. blood running dirty. Down you there. don't want to spend time. Horrible, at there. you know. You actually don't want to eat there, right? But I tried. But it. it's so good, and it was the most delicious fried chicken I have ever had in my life. Delicious. I mean, I could not believe that that came out of that kitchen. It was just delicious. setting the scene of where it's from. Oh yeah, I know it's collard delicious. greens going down the I road. I mean, yeah, oh, best place. Oh yeah, they so have uh, that. Too. The place I ate it was like a, It's called Sylvia Soul Food. Oh yeah, candied yams, collard mm. greens, all kinds of stuff. Just. Mm. Okay, so let's say I'm walking down the road. So we're at the apartment buildings and like da da da, and I'm walking down. You know, at 125th Street, and like what? I can go left, but if I go right, it's gonna pass Fifth or something. No, you go right from the apartment com- complex. You go right, and you're great. You actually get to the Apollo Theater like three streets Just over. Just remember, right is right. Left? Yeah, no, left. Sure you can still go a little left. bit. Mm-hmm. Is that no, 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 no. When, well, okay, when you go out of the apartment complex where the subway Wait is. Wait till you're a veteran to go it's left. At it's at Lennox. Any stalkers out there okay. for Joyce? That's the street. Then you make a left. Okay. You walk down Lennox to 125th. Okay. The avid then at that point, Google mapping you your go address right. right now. You don't go left. 
You don't go left. You but go right at that. You don't go left, right? It'd be so much simpler with a map right now. You don't go left, right? Right. Right now. Left? Right. You don't go left. Chris right. is afraid right. I'm left. gonna get right. like I don't know murdered or something because I say my opinions out loud. No, she's the kind of person who'll look at somebody and be like, just like stare at them, and I go, you're not gonna want to stare at. Well, it's because she's a person who's not from New York City or anywhere. Normal people don't. You shouldn't stare at somebody and just like facially make an expression of them. At least pretend and be like. Oh, I thought I knew you. No, I just like when I have a feeling about something or I feel a certain way about something or if I have something to so say. So like the somebody, guy that I smelled do. like urine, what, what what was the facial expression? Was it ridiculous? Uh, well, if he was awake. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, well, I mean, there, if there you're are going to encounter uh, a guy who smells like, like urine, look, you want him to be sleeping. Yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> it's like just ignore it. Don't look like you don't stare sleeping. at yeah. them. Yeah. Everyone not just on ignores you. it. That's just mind your own business. I'm like, that's disgusting. I don't understand. God. No, I, and I've told her, I go, you know, I want to interview, I want to interview the intern six months after you've lived there. No, not even. Do it like two weeks. She'd be like, oh, I'll see it. I live in Harlem. <laughs> Homeless <laughs> people? <laughs> well, I never even see them. That's what, that's what it's going to be. Yeah, I hope so. No, that 125th is really cool. Apollo Theater's there, like real famous Apollo Six weeks from now, she's going to be the break a lease. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. That'd be a dual lease, too. That would suck on, on every end. No, she's not doing it. So, are you in like a, an official New York City from the movies buzz me in apartment? There's a doorman. There's a doorman. Oh, there's a doorman. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Leroy. He's black. Well, weird. I'll assume. <laughs> You're going to have to lose that attitude, too, by the way. I'm going to. Here's what I'm going to do Cletus. I'm going to guess what his uh, name that is. Could be Cletus. If, if, <laughs> that if, could be Cletus. either. That's that. That's like down Hill. here. Yeah, yeah, that's not New yeah York I mean, go with Leroy. That's that's a good one. I'm gonna say his name is. I'm a two guesses. Okay. You have to tell me if I'm right. All right, Mr. Brown. Roger or Walter. Roger or Walter. Those are my okay. guesses. I'm not well, going. Is he a 60 year old guy dressed in a nope. suit and a top Don't want hat? details. No. That's not fair. No, Don't, no but details. That's a Roger Wal Walter right there. Not that's what you see in the movies. Hey. He's he's a classy old fashioned guy. He's a doorman. I'm going with Roger. Or I think Walter. anything over 35 could be Roger or Walter. Under 35 names. Have you're changed. gonna you're gonna call me and be like, yeah, yeah. doorman, be like, be like Tyrese, Dev Devonte, or <laughs> something. Like that. D apostrophe. <laughs> That's an interesting story. This that reminds me of something funny. A friend of mine is a uh, kindergarten teacher. And she teaches in the. I think it was like in I don't Orlando. You. True story. No, you said. You're a friend, right? A friend of mine. Like is an actual teacher. friend? Yeah. Wow. I know. I don't have many of them. But um, she teaches a lot of low-income people. Kind of like show doesn't have many inches in his dick. Exactly. Just like that. Four friends. All I have is four. Three and a half if you want to be technical, but I round up to four. Mm. Just like show. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> he rounds up. Teaches a lot of low-income kids. You know, it's kind of a school where they help, you know, kids like that out. So... It's at the point in the class where they're meeting everyone and they're getting everyone's names and whatnot. And the kid writes her name down, L, and then a hyphen, A. What? And That's it? it? L hyphen, a dash, A. La? And that's what they w she was sitting there reading. She goes, this kid's name is L La or L-A? So they got him in there and the mom comes up and goes, no, my baby name is Ladasha. Seriously? <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> La is the L A <laughs> dash uh Ladash uh. Her name Ladasha. I mean in a way it's kind of cool to have a symbol in your name. That's right? how they write it. Yeah, La instead of learning how to spell the whole thing, just just put a dash in for the dash. Mark. My baby name Ladasha. It's like um what no Sean, I never understood no why Sean Marino. Name, no Sean. What's the one that's understand. absolutely ridiculous that's like this long that no one can pronounce? Nadamakin Sue. Well, let's not he's show. Not, he's not black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, just oh, before, before we continue, yeah, before we continue this, uh, show said Grimace is a good puffer. Oh yeah, I heard about this. Yeah, that's why when you asked if you had time to go outside real quick, uh, show was starting shortly. Oh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> Unintended. Look <laughs> how that happened. Show was starting shortly. What and else I is new? See how and he nice wanted I to smoke pull. a cigarette. <laughs> and Joyce replied, "Leash." Uh, and no, another name is Jadavian Clowney. Jadavian. That's kind of a cool name, though. Very black, but I mean, that's when I look at him like, oh, that's kind of neat, Jadavian. Not much you can put in front of Clowney, and you're not going to get made fun of anyway. Yeah, you know, it would be a rough last name. Yeah. It's like the guy with the last name Gay. Oh, the golfer. Uh, He's a golfer. Well, no, there's a football player. I had a neighbor named uh, There's probably a lot of gays the in the world player, of sports. Basketball player, Rudy Gay. Oh, weird. Michael Sam. Yeah, there you go. 
my neighbor at the villa, her name was Gay. When she introduced herself, First she was like, you know, gay, my name yeah. is Gay. And I was like, I want to what your name's what this is one maybe of my favorite gay. things maybe it was something that i just misunderstood but it was gay hey. no my name's gay this is one of my favorite things when a person's last name is ironically or unironically very literal like you see the camera cuts out at a football game and you see a player on this on the bench sitting there and he's black and his jersey just says brown or white. Or, yeah, or something like that, yeah. Or there's a guy who's flamboyant, and he's a golfer or a baseball player, and his name is gay. When that kind of stuff happens to me, it's, like, awesome. Like, dude's name is Joel Carpenter, and that's the guy coming to your house to, f- you know, build your cupboards. Yeah, yeah, I had a thing. guy came to my parents' house years ago to fix their air conditioning unit. Shit you not, his name was AC. Showed me his driver's license. AC. You could get a change like that, though. You can AC always change it. I give people the benefit of doubt. That was just his name. I, his name was like Anthony Charles. His name was AC. Okay. He goes by AC. But the dude fixes air conditioning units for his life. Are you kidding me? Very ironic. I love when stuff like that happens. So are we uh, still on the what's new with you? <laughs> That's why you're you like to Owen. I, I still haven't heard Owen from the interns what's new with you. I don't get it. <laughs> Explain it. What? Oh, money? Are you? Oh, you're broke? <laughs> He's Owen. Owen. Yeah. Oh! Nice. <laughs> Stalkers are getting a lot to the yeah, avid yeah. stalkers are getting a lot to know about Joyce tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Address, last name. Where was he at? Oh, financial oh, status. Well, kind of. Yeah, I mean Harlem. I mean, it, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of streets there. Yeah, well, the good thing, the good thing about where the apartment is, is walk out of the front door, about 45 seconds to a minute away from the police station. Uh, subway station. <laughs> there's a hospital right across the street, so in always case I get stabbed, I can just crawl there. across. I know, and that's a deterrent. Always cops there. The sad thing is, if you get stabbed, it'll probably be by me. That's right. probably true. All right, so uh, why did you have to be in this city? What are the domestic laws like in New York? <laughs> uh, well, I, well, you can't own a gun, so they clearly have a problem with it. This <laughs> man is six four. He can't claim domestic abuse. Now the Evans stalkers are getting physical yeah, identifications from you. I'll be never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, above or below show is that the top? Oh, above show. Hello. So you're you're not a you're not a power bottom. What does that mean? You're above show. You just <laughs> 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 I've never been a power bottom. <laughs> it was a double whammy. <laughs> there was no getting out of that. Uh, uh, no, Same so. thing when shows on top. Where you walk. <laughs> 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 oh. It's like a show burial. That's what he gets for not being here. <laughs> Can we be stopped? Please, uh, someone stop us. So you get out of the sub or get there to the subway station. It's like 45 seconds to a minute, and it takes. Go ahead. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're not used to that. And you feel dirtier That's always. And so sense. from subway, from where the apartment is to subway, literally right underneath work. Is How weird about is that? 18 minutes. How weird is that? It is yeah, I'm weird. underneath my job right now. It is kind of weird. Keep in mind, avid listeners from the parts unknown, we're in Florida where underneath our work is sand and water. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and massive and, holes that will eventually the, sink the, in. The sinkhole that's going to claim all of our lives <laughs> four years from now. That's uh, yeah, anything else? Any other questions about uh, Harlem? Uh, uh, how far away does John live? He lives probably, you got to go to one train to another. It's probably about 35 Have minutes. you talked to him? Yeah, I saw him there last Friday when Is I was he there. excited? Yeah, he, him yeah. and a few other people, a couple of the other managers will be there to actually uh, help us unpack. Other Is the packing in onto this truck that will have the, you know, it, that will be more difficult than the actually unpacking up there. Gotcha. Unloading. I forgot to tell you, I got rid of my pickup truck, so I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't. Well, we got a Penske truck. I We're getting it Saturday, taking, taking some stuff to storage and stuff like that. So Cool. Anything else? Anything? 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 I'm just Say waiting it. for the what's new with you with the intern. That's not sure he did it. It's pretty, it's pretty it. much the same. Man. I, I thought it would be a lot worse. I'm super excited to live in New York. The mm. end. That sounded That sounded. That was genuine. heart-filled and warm. <laughs> if that yeah. statement was a rapper, it'd be genuine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, first one, classic way. Uh, this is the first time we've ever started a show like this. Uh, baby dies in hot car on Navy base. Father accused of manslaughter. Weird. What state? Because it was on a Navy base. Uh, uh, this would have when been in. Anyway? Uh, I was going to say Georgia, but it's not. Uh, t- Jesus. I, it's I, L.A. Times. Yeah, but I don't think it was in L.A. slash California. Because it keeps talking about the Georgia guy that we have previously talked about. 
All right, well, you read it. I'll, I'll find out. You, you, right, you yeah. get them. I'll get the deets. Yeah, just keep talking about uh, Navy base. Maryland. Oh, Maryland. It's in Maryland. MD. Uh, let's see. He uh, told law enforcement officials that he took his four-year-old son to preschool and then forgot to drop his infant son at daycare before going to his office. Does this guy not read the news? Does he know that excuse doesn't work? In an affidavit that was, he told officials he'd parked near his office just before 9 a.m. and left the baby in a rear-facing car seat. His last name is Junik. Junik said his wife called him around 3.20 to ask a question about the car seat. That's kind of weird. And Junik realized that he might not have taken the baby to daycare and went to check. This is like the same story. It's like six hours later. Yeah, but it's different, though, because the last one, what, the Georgia guy? Yeah, remember yeah, he went to work different. all day? And yeah, well, in this, they reference this guy a lot, but a completely separate thing. Junik said he discovered the child unconscious in the car seat and couldn't revive him. He called 911 around 325, and the baby was pronounced dead at the scene. Ugh. Outside temperature reached 85 degrees on that day. Junik told officials he used his car twice in the middle of the day, huh? once to drive at one, to a 1 p.m. meeting in a different building and once around 2 to return from the meeting. The father said he was in a hurry to get to the meeting and didn't notice his child was in the car. That's impossible. It's, it's a, you can forget your kid. It can happen. I haven't done it. I pray to, I pray to God I never do it. But obviously it can happen. That's, that's it, crap. That's ridiculous. I could never get in my car two times throughout the day with a kid in the back of it and not even have it cross my mind. That, I, that's impossible. I think even though had he noticed at that time, three hours, four hours past the original time, it probably still would have been too late. Have you ever gone three hours without at least once thinking about one of your children? No. It's impossible. Three hours. Like I said, I get it if you go to Walmart, you're picking up some eggs and milk. Oh, shit. It's been ten minutes. I forgot my kid. That's different. I get that. I'm sure that can happen. A whole work day? Well, see, that's the thing. It's such a process to take a child somewhere yeah. to do it. Yeah. And it's just like, you how do you forget literally what you just did? How do you forget the, the disastrous train wreck of getting your children in the car and going to work? Like, how do you? F- I don't understand that. Yeah. And it becomes such a routine. It, it You're on autopilot. You get up, get your kid in the cart, put him in the back seat, take him to the daycare, go to work. That's autopilot. Like, yeah, you absolutely. have to go out of your way to think about anything different. Oh, oh I just forgot and I went to work. Are you kidding me? Come up with a better excuse. All right, next He's one. He's being here. brought up on tr- on charges, though, right? I think I read uh, that. Involuntary being manslaughter. manslaughter. Yeah. I didn't see the word involuntary. Well, the story said if if convicted of involuntary manslaughter, and it goes through something different. Now they did say manslaughter, but he could get a lesser charge of involuntary, like accidental, I basically. Gotcha. Now imagine being on the other side of that story where you actually did forget your kid. Yeah, I wouldn't be worried. Imagine I if wouldn't you be worried about genuinely forgot the, and your kid died like that. I wouldn't be worried about the police or going to jail. I, I would be numb. Like, I, I, yeah. I wouldn't even, I, I I'd wouldn't I'd probably care. kill myself. Yeah, I, I, I would probably be, I would, myself. yeah. I, and probably do it the same way, too, just, just to feel better about it. Think about the agony that poor kid went through. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, all right, I don't want to think I'm, about I'm it. I'm hoping that Next the story. kid would have passed out, like heat exhaustion when you, you pass hope, out. But it, that, that's most likely what happens before you know you stop breathing or you, whatever happens when you, you when you feel that heat exhaustion, you start getting cold sweats and you pass out. And hopefully, the kid just didn't wake up, and that was the end. Right, of it. That's what you hope for, but this is a world where hope doesn't take you too far. You know what's cool? We're gonna start this show with baby leaving this world, and we're gonna segue into the next story on how they come into the world. All right, so next one, cops. Oh, this is what the cops said. Creep put bodily fluid in co-workers' Java. Oof. Minnesota hardware store manager confessed to police that he twice ejaculated into the coffee of a female twice. co-worker who told cops that the beverage tasted strange on several occasions, but that she chalked it up to spoiled milk. <laughs> Slightly you should, salty. You should see this guy. He fits the description. So he is spoiled milk. He looks really proud of himself, too. Well, in this picture he does, yeah. Leisure, let me see it. I got it. Oh, I appreciate Don't that. Ask yeah, 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 yeah. Leave him that. Oh, no, that's great. Oh, yeah, that guy looks like he could do that. Oh, yeah, he did that more than twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, oh, that's just man. he just got caught. <laughs> you should ask about the other female workers. What's uh, his name? According to... Uh, John Lind. According to investigators, a victim contacted cops last week to report that she believed Lind was leaving bodily fluids in her workspace. The... <laughs> The woman recounted oh, discovering Lynn weird. standing over a desk with his back turned and his hand near his genitals. She added that when Lynn spotted her, he had a deer in the headlights look on his face. A the, dick in the headlights. The she woman said that she then examined her desk and noted a strong odor that resembled urine, but was somewhat different and strange. Added that the same odor was coming from her coffee mug. 
The oh. victim told cops that she found fluid dripping off her desk onto the floor and believed Lick was either urine or semen. Now, How here's don't the deal. you instantly they, go to the authorities or your boss? There's a difference between urine and semen. No, as soon as she turns that's the computer on, it's like, Yeah, but that's, that's just one story she's saying. That's earlier, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Most of the liquid the woman told cops had been absorbed by a hair scrunchie. First of oh. all, who wears a hair scrunchie anymore? Girls. I have uh, a scrunchie. Damn <laughs> it. Which she placed in a plastic bag and later turned over to police along with the coffee mug. The victim I like how cops. out of this story, that's what you picked to be the most bizarre. Who wears a hair scrunchie? Not... Not who, the fact that it's... Well, no, who ejaculates I, I, into a yeah, cup in, of coffee twice? Yeah, but in that portion of the story, that's what I thought was weird. The victim At that also point, told, I think we can't call it coffee anymore. It's, it's a Dickachino. That's yeah, it is Dickachino. The victim also told cops she had an ongoing issue with a foul taste in her coffee, until oh, that's which the she thought part. was due to spoiled milk. Until that's contact the, the police, part. the woman said that she had not considered that it may have been tampered with. Think Wouldn't about how many times... How many times she drank that Anyone? stuff? Anyone? Does that to me? It sounds better. What? Comachino's definitely better. A comachino. Comachino. Comachino's yeah. definitely better. Comachino. That's too literal, though. It no, leaves nothing to the imagination. The woman also told investigators that his foul. office behavior. What dickachino? Or is he stirring the cappuccino with his dick? Oh. Does that make? <laughs> oh, that would burn like you a. You put it beyond bitch. this guy. <laughs> That'd be the last thing I'd be worried about is doing Look at that. This guy. That Clearly, that dude's out. into it. Oh, absolutely. You know, he's like, oh, hot coffee. Oh, so when police co- confronted him about the woman's allegations, he confessed to repeatedly. Confronted him? He, oh. repeatedly, he had confessed to repeatedly ejaculating into her coffee How and onto her desk, which he attempted to clean with the scrunchie. Oh, man. Oh, Honestly, man. though, I, this guy's got balls, dude. Uh, obviously. I mean, obviously he has balls, but <laughs> very <laughs> full picture, ones. picture this scenario. You're at work and you're like, you know what? I don't like that bitch. I'm gonna go jizz in her coffee. Imagine the balls it takes in a public workplace to just stand there. And I mean, I hope he's he's quick on the trigger. But uh, he's got. I mean, just look at the picture. I mean, you, think you about like the. Well, maybe uh, he loves her. Maybe that's the. It's the opposite Here's in my thing. world. He likes Super her. quick, like oh shit, quick a minute. You gotta stand there in your coworker's cubicle for a minute, a minute to win it. Is that your motto? I'd be, I'd be so scared. And I'm getting killed tonight. Wow. Speaking of that, seventy um, percent down in crime rate from Harlem from uh, 1993 to 2010. Oh, that's good. It that's is, great. That it is, is up and coming. And most homicides, um, speaking are, of that, are white people are, 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 are blacks. Work as um, in in Harlem community. Oh, so, so we're, we're good. good. Go. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah, you got everything just, going for you. Just want the gaff to come stay the night. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, and no, then you just, just another you're statistic. Just Weird for it. <laughs> just another statistic. He says. <laughs> All right, next one here. Police bus college student, twenty one, while jogging, on jogging while intoxicated. Charge. Uh, JUI. Oh, I what? Heard this one. It's in Pennsylvania. He. Uh, let's it's see. probably public intoxication. It's public intoxication. But he wasn't drinking in public. He was jogging. You can't be drunk you, in public. You can't you be can't intoxicated. Be in belligerently public. drunk and go walking around in public. You can't. So it's he's probably like jogging. I think and it's like, a mis- ah, it's hey a guys. misdemeanor. But yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Still, now you gotta go. But still, it's like okay, uh, jog or drive. I mean, you know. Yeah, I don't At least he's being more thing. responsible. Exactly. So why give him shit? Uh, James Finnan, 21, was spotted jogging alongside Route 378 without any light. Around 1.30 Sunday morning. Well, he shouldn't have been out there at 1.30 in the morning jogging. Well, he's drunk. What do you want Listen, him to do? Maybe he has an early job. According to cops, vehicles were observed to take... Were observed, were observed that, No, that's what it says. Were observed to take defensive measures to avoid him as he ran al- alongside the roadway. When cops confronted him, he reportedly smelled a booze and was unsteady on his feet. Subsequent breathalyzer registered the collegian's blood alcohol content at 0.19. That's up there. That's, that uh, that's impressive. I like that his last name has the word college in it, and he was really drunk. No, 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 no. Well, no, his last name's Finnan. Oh, I, what's collegian? The fact that he's a, in a oh. college. Oh, I thought this was last no, name. No, no, Never no, mind, no. world. Oh, no, 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 no. It would have been funnier if he was naked. Like, he was just naked, yeah. drive, or, like, jogging streaking. down a highway. Yeah, he was cited for public drunkenness. Yeah, can't do that. All right, next one here, uh, when it loads, of course. Bad Grandpa? Yeah, and you know what? I put that on there without actually fully understanding whose fault it was. It wasn't the grandparents' fault. Elderly Florida diner beaten in cursing dispute. Applebee's patron asked stopper to ask attacker to stop f word use. When an 80 year old Applebee's patron politely asked him to stop loudly cursing and talking about titties and ass, 
a Floridian, 26, responded by punching the octogenarian in the face. That's a good Represent. Word. Wow, that guy looks like a douchebag. In Port Orange. He looks like a guy oh, who yeah. beat up an octogenarian. I like that word. That's great. Harry Sander told police that he was at Apple at the Applebee's bar when he heard Sawyer talking obscenities. Sander said that he approached Sawyer and asked him politely if he could please stop using the fuck word and stop talking so loud about titties and ass. After Sawyer replied that he did not have to stop cursing, Sander noted that in his home country of Germany, you don't speak in such a manner. A witness told Port Orange Police Department officer that Sawyer replied, I don't care where you are from, whether it be Russia or, or Dutch, take your ass to the other side of the bar. I like that old man. Old man with balls. Old man balls. Old man balls from Germany. Sawyer allegedly punched Sander in the face and pushed the pensioner to the Applebee's floor. I like how Smoking Gun uses all yeah, these different things. Those creative adjectives. Sanders, Sanders stated that he does not remember much really? after that moment. You like how they use these odd words? Well, Weird. that type stuff, yeah. yeah. Not, creative. not fantasy words. Like, you know, we'll, we'll be talking and she'll be like, well, that's fantastical. I don't say fantastical. Who says fantastical? Uh, you have. I never. Sometimes. <laughs> She, All right, it's happened. She she lives in, she lives in the world of uh, uh, what is it? King's Cross and uh, Hogsmeade. No, yeah, Hogsmeade. What's, what's the new one? Hogsmeade. That's not the new one. Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. Yeah. Speaking of which, we went. I don't think we've talked. How since awesome that. was it? Dude. And the video of the dragon. Did I not tell you that the that's what they should have done the about? first time? Harry Potter. How fa how fantastical was that? It was fantastical. Wasn't it was amazing. It? it was magical, guys. You're using magically the wrong word. fantastical. You went to the movie or no? Or? Harry no, the Potter new park world. at Universal. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Did you ride the train? Yeah. We did. Is the train like cool? Six times. Yeah. It's so cool because the the Dementors come and they like put. Ah, spoiler alert! Oh. Dementors don't I've come. I've seen them all. They don't come. No, they don't. No. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> They just suck but there's a lot of things like if you're you. walking around Diagon Alley, there's like all those little like dark alleyways, yeah. and if you go down them, they there's like little stores and stuff. Yeah, by in there. the it's pretty cool. so it's the actually Bergam like a, it's Bergam actually Bergam actually Borks. Like a, um, Bergam and Borks, that creepy store. Did yeah, you go in there? Like, oh cool. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's that the really only cool. store that I really thought it'd be cool to get. Did something you stand from. up by the vanishing cabinet and hear the bird? No, I don't think they have the vanishing cabinet. Bergam and Borks, the the store. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not, but the vanishing cabinet. You know how. Draco, that was how he got all the bad guys in. The yeah. vanishing can already teleport from. I didn't from. see that. Yeah, it's in the back right uh, corner uh, by the cash register. I guess you gotta go back. Yeah. Right now. All I saw by the cash <laughs> registers was like. I remember big the, to the right. There's the giant. There's the vanishing can right there, and if you go up and stand next to it, you can hear the little, the little bird <laughs> tweeting, and then it like dies. I want to say we heard that. Well, you want to say you heard it, but. I don't remember the cabinet. But the ride was amazing. We sat in the front row. I guess someone used an Obliviate curse on well, you then. Well, well, huh. What kind of ride? Is if it like a roller coaster ride? Shacks. A 3D I ride? Am not really. Is it this a kiddie cool. ride? Not a kiddie ride. Is oh, I haven't gone on the ride either. Like, yeah, it's more of like a uh, 3D, like a, it's more of a visual like thing. Transformers. But there's Have a you been there very. There's Let me tell you, last time I was at Universal, King Kong was still there. Oh, was great ride. Did you ride Spider Man? Awesome. That ride. No, it had just opened and the line was ridiculous. Yeah. I waited three hours to ride Spider Man when it first opened. I'll just I'll go on ET. I'll be happy. Come on, man. I was young. I was. Well, see, now the problem is I miss Jaws. On most of that shit anymore. Yeah. Jaws isn't there anymore. No longer. No. Oh, oh this new Diagon Alley's there. They expanded Harry oh, Potter. That's ridiculous. Yeah, Jaws was. Uh, it holds a place in my heart. For I'll tell you. I'll tell you a story. But the first time I was on Jaws, I had this 80-year-old man, probably from Germany, was sitting next to me. I got separated from my family because they were all to the left of the boat, and I was on the right. It was a weight issue. So um, the boat was <laughs> listing. Was it it was, a, <laughs> that was back when. That was back when. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the brother was about tree fifty too. Um, anyways, uh, I'm sitting next to this guy, and, and I didn't. I had watched the movies and stuff. I was I was young, and I'm scared because I don't know what the hell is gonna oh, go yeah, on. That was you know? a scary ride when you were alone. Yeah, and, and this guy. I swear he pissed himself. He was <laughs> laughing at me so hard. He had to have been on the ride 30 times. He knew exactly when every shark was coming out, when every little thing happened. He knew when it was happening, and he was just having the best time in the world watching me piss my pants. He should have got a job there, man. Oh, my God. And, and, and when the shark come up to you on the right, I was sitting right there. Nice. Like, that was my spot. That scared nice. the piss out of me. Even though it was a big, fake piece of plastic, it still scared the hell out of what me. What about the vinegar? No vinegar? No, no, just vinegar. piss. Just piss. Um, but yeah, no, the, the place was pretty cool. Uh, the ride was, if you go on the ride, definitely first row. 
Way to it go. was it was like an hour and a half, two hour wait, and we we were saving it to the end. We're like, oh, we'll just go on there like half hour, forty five minutes before the park closes. <laughs> they shut it down. Yeah, we oh, uh, we got in there with the like line annual pass holder. You got in an hour early to the park or something, and mm-hmm. we got there right when it opened. And I think what was our wait? Twenty minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Something you like go that. on a weekday though, right? It was on a weekday. Yeah, that's but, smart. That's how you do it. Well, it's only Monday through Friday that that pass holder thing happens. And then we happen to go on Saturday morning. And they let us in, but it was already 45 minutes early. Well, we got in there really quick. Or 45 quick. minutes at the time. We yeah. got in there at like 30. Yeah. yeah. Do you know they do a new thing that pass holders after 4 o'clock, you get fast pass really? for free. Yeah. My friend who goes do, there all the do time. Do they have any of the old stuff? I mean, or is it all new shit? There's a lot. This Back is to the Future's gone. Quite it's a a Simpsons. Simpsons. The future's it's Simpsons. Gone. Same thing. Yeah. It's funny, though. It's the same ride. E.T.'s gone, I'm sure. He's no, E.T.'s there. still there. E.T.'s still there. Oh, yeah, okay. they'll never get King it. King Kong, I know, went they'll away. Terminator's e. still there. Terminator's still Terminator's there. Terminator's there, and it's actually, I mean, it's, that 3D it's thing, terrible, right? terrible, but it's actually pretty cool. But it was like one of the first 3D things they had. Dude, they yeah, spent. now Shrek is there. Still. Which is pretty cool. The Minion thing is Honestly, there. all the rides there are, are pretty good. The only thing I, I, I have a tendency to skip is probably Transformers, just because, I mean, I've done it. Wow. Not Transformers, uh, Terminator. Yeah, okay. I I went on Transformers and I've never been more upset in my life I about Twister. a ride. It is Twister. literally That's Spider-Man. Right. That was yeah. fun. Transformers yeah, like is the same, same ride as Spider-Man. Oh, no. yeah, same cars. Cars. same turns, around. same cars. cars, same path. It's the same yeah. ride. Now, I would rather go on Twister all day than go on Disaster again. I used to yeah, like when I was a kid sucks. and it was, was Earthquake. Was the subway thing? Earthquake. Yeah. Earthquake. Yeah, yeah. And that was cool, but now that they, they made it where you're on a movie and you got to scream ball out, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, oh, it's, it's not the actual ride no it's more? It's still thing. the ride. It's, it's the same thing. They just they ham it up to be like, oh, you're in the movies. Okay, here it comes. Everyone scream. And then they replay it on the video and it's just stupid. Oh, oh, yeah, but the good. ride itself is the It's same. still Earthquake. That it's was pretty cool for they when, just, when they, they tried to make it more as a kid when that oh, was yeah. happening. Cars on fire, waters all over the place. That was weird. It's a subway. Like a, what are you like an, driving every day? Sounds like an ice tea day? rap song. Oh, that's different. Bodies on fire. Shit blowing <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, see that that's how long it's been since I've been there. Like that was the good attraction. Yeah, that's back in Twister the day. Twister was good. Uh, the Terminator had just. I mean, that was like the newest thing there. Was the last time I went. That Twister is cool. <sighs> I, well, here, was, here's why I hate sure Twister. It's much better. Twister got rid of Ghostbusters, and that ruined me. It was oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Ghostbusters, yeah. Back to the Future, Jaws. I mean, that place used I to be back like, to the oh, future. they built, they built McBride a theme park. Was that was that the place with the birds? Was that for the... No, um, Alfred Hitchcock no, was, was Alfred there, Hitchcock. too. Yeah. The and Murder, one. She Wrote. Remember with the, that? Yeah. With the... Oh, um, when you're sitting in the seats and the, the whisk broom, like, hits your legs. Yeah, they, the rats they, or whatever. they still do that now. They still have the Hitchcock? The little worst little thing there no, it's is... Hitchcock anymore. It, oh, okay. The worst thing there, and this is true. I don't care if you agree with me or not. This is absolutely true. The worst <laughs> thing... Men in black. Skip it. Every time you go, don't waste your time. It's awful. Is Beetlejuice's Graveyard Review. It's... F- the show terrible. No, like she loves it party. because uh, every I time terrible. It. Every it's time he nuts. marks out to her, he You're marks nuts. out I've been to on her. It twice and I'm both not times saying you like can't have. I'm me. not saying you can't have a good time on it, and that a kid's not going to have a good time on it. It's fucking terrible. That's the first time I think I've ever dropped the f bomb on this show. No, 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 no. You you definitely said it. I heard you do it. The roller derby. No, you did it before that Special scenario. No, you did that before too. It was All right, well, uh, I just said it twice about the same thing. That's, yeah, that's the first true. time that's ever happened. <laughs> that's true. It was something. It, I forget what it was. The Hollywood make, makeup thing's pretty cool, too. That is cool. That's it's really always the really same guy, and I always wonder, does this guy work seven days a week? He's got to. He probably makes more than both of us combined. Oh, easily. Uh, it's bringing see. in 200 I don't know. A year. Someone's going to be moving to New York. That's got to be good money. Yeah, but everything's gonna more be better expensive. Money. Everything's way more expensive. Still worth it, though. Not of the electric bill. That's going to be less. And you don't have to buy filtered water, right? No, I'm going to drink out of the taps. Yeah. There you go. Well, yeah, New York has money. Well, well, yeah. 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 No, 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 really yeah. no, no pure filters every three months. That 20 bucks is really going to... That's going to add up in a couple we years. We don't change the filters dummy. here. I don't buy know the, the last ones, time that was man. changed. You crazy? All right, so uh, I got another one here. Bradenton man, victim of swatting again. Now, this was from about, uh, this is about three weeks ago. Swatting. <laughs> Squatting? Swat. Swatting. Like special weapons and tactics. Oh, okay, okay. All right, now, uh, this guy. This is uh, becoming a serious thing. Someone's going to get killed. Yes, I, I had I had the original article for this, and I got rid of it when I saw it happened again. I thought it, it would be a lot more detail, thing. but it wasn't. Uh, okay. 
plays a game online. What's the game? Is it Minecraft? It's any game. Okay, any so game. Let, let's say you're playing. Let's say I'm playing Grand Theft Counter Auto. Counter Strike, whatever. Right yeah, something like that. So I'm playing Grand Theft Auto, and all of a sudden you're uh, owning someone. Yeah, no, like you're that one guy. Remember, so mad, and I have her get on the thing. You're giving start talking to attack. him, and he goes, "What?" A fucking girl? Oh, He's no. so mad. You're lucky you didn't get swatted. Hey, we used to get just as pissed when the what five-year-old that? kids would what kick our mean? ass on us. For those who don't know, swatting is, like like Joyce is saying, you're playing online, and you're just killing someone. Or you're just pissing someone off. So here's what they do. They find out who you are. Hacker What's style. that called? I can't remember what that's like called. Like literally There's a word for who that. you are? Oh, yeah. yeah. They find out yeah, using your, your IP address. Yeah. They find out who you are. And they call the police and say... There's a guy here with a gun. He says he's going to kill people. He, I think he has a hostage, and he's been bragging about it all night long on this game. So here's what happens. SWAT drives to your house, and busts your goddamn yeah. door down, and because they're expecting to see a crazy guy with a bunch of guns getting ready to murder a bunch of people. Meanwhile, here's you playing your video game. All it's going to take is one normal dude like you or me sitting in their room playing their video games who just so happens to own a gun who thinks someone's breaking into his house. Because I don't know about you, when I play video games, a lot of times I'm wearing headphones. So I might not hear someone bang Wait, on my door. Wait, what doors. about the people Police, who call? open up. Police, open up. Well, they find out who it is, and those people are going to start getting in trouble. And it's going to be pretty oh, serious, because okay. they have to, because someone's going to get killed. Let's say I'm playing a game, and that happens to me. I got my headphones on. I can't hear you banging on my door. I own a gun. I have a family. I think some shithead just kicked my door down and is going to rob me, kill me, rape my wife, murder my baby. I'm going to get my gun. I'm not going to bust out their guns a blazing and just start shooting. But you know what a SWAT team's going to do when they go on a call that's been told to them, this guy's crazy, he's oh, going to kill you. people, and they see me standing there with a gun? I'm dead. Absolutely. Dead. Well, this happened twice in a month. Oh, more than that. It's happened Well, no, a lot. to this particular guy. In oh, Rangers. they did him again? Oh, the yeah. same guy. Oh, God. Yeah, so... For the second time this month, so it happened, it was in September. Uh, Mike Dolan was playing an online game last weekend when someone watching called police to report he had killed his wife and was hunting down their daughter. The report was false. Saturday, it happened again. This time, someone called to report a bomb inside the home. Officers searched it and found nothing. The call came from a nearby gas station, but investigators determined no calls were made at that location. The practice is called swatting, and hackers are able to make 911 calls without being anywhere near the location. So it's almost like remotely using a phone from another place yeah. close to that person and giving information. That will happen sometimes. It, Absolutely. It's going to happen. Someone's going to get killed this way. It's going to happen. They need to start finding out who these people are doing, and it's got to be, like, serious trouble. Did you say they find out who they're doing? Who's doing it? Like, they got to find out who they're doing. <laughs> wink, wink. Chagrin. I mean, that's ridiculous, because I remember we used to, back in the day, I mean, we used to get in some heated conversations with some people. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it, it would get bad, but, I mean, it was never to the point where I was thinking about calling. It's just team. getting worse, It's just though. not fun. Uh, see, I haven't, I, I haven't played Part of me thinks, so oh, I mean, that's, that's a funny idea. If it only happened one time in history, I would look at it and be like, dude, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that guy was... Owning that douche online, and they called SWAT, and they went in and broke it. Well, yeah, but these these gamers that sit at home all day, that's their... And like we said, eventually someone's going to get killed. And that guy had to pay 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 for his door. Oh, yeah. When they broke it down, yeah. Absolutely. Why why should they Those gamers that are doing this, that's their entire life. So when they get their ass beat by somebody, they're furious. Yeah, if they're mentally incompetent. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously they are if that's all they do the entire day, and that's their entire life, and they take the time to hack somebody that, that just beat them in a fucking video game. I mean... It's a big deal. You know, that's one thing on uh, on Grand Theft Auto I notice all the time. You'll be in a room and there, there's there's guys who are like, well, I'm I'm a hacker. Like I'll literally have asteroids sitting in the middle of the street because I'm in I'm in a site or in a room where somebody's well, hacking. Just in the owning room. the game. And oh yeah, they're in God mode where literally they can't die. Mm-hmm. You could blow them up and they they're still alive. Shoot you once, you're dead. So I'm in this room one time and this this kid's on little kid. Yeah, that's like, what's crazy. It's probably 12 years old. Yeah, I was going to say 12 or 13. And this guy's on there. He goes, I need you to give me this information. And the kid's like, why? He goes, well, I'm a hacker, and I will shut your system down if you don't give me this information. I don't know what he was asking for. And he's like, you see this other guy? You see his name? He's like, yeah. He's like, you need to get $800,000 by tomorrow in the game and give it to him 
Otherwise, I'm gonna shut your your account. Yeah, they, they they delete their characters and whatnot. So it's like it's it's crazy. So they can literally delete your account. Yeah, or they just they have ways it. of doing it. Well, some are like that, and then and then this other guy gets on. Oh, pussy, you're not a hacker. Or all this other stuff, and, and then, then, then just, his so and so has war. left the game. Yeah, and then, he's, <laughs> then he's gone. So that's kind of like when the Halos first car, the start doing the hacking with all this online stuff. That was when like your your game would be like three seconds off, and you'd be dead automatically. Oh yeah, your character, the other it. character yeah. across Same the uh, across the little river hacks. there is like jumping around yeah. randomly. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, like I said, I haven't. Been, uh, that would piss me. I mean, it just it just takes all the fun. Yeah, I'm not going to call I the mean. cops on you and have them murder yeah. you. And that's so when we're. It's been so long since we've done this that this was more of a relevant uh, topic then. But uh, again, it's from the beginning of September. How about the whole Ray Rice thing? Yeah, yeah. pretty amazing. Uh, and uh, I mean, how? Where, where's talk your t-shirt, about What? <laughs> no, she doesn't have one. Oh, I have uh, a Vic jersey. Yeah, we'll talk about it in the elevator later. What do you? <laughs> yeah. There's all these women that are like supporting him and buying all the shit. Supporting him, They're like, idiots. oh, she deserved to be hit. Have yeah. you seen the video? Yeah. I've, okay, oh, yeah. I've, I've seen the entire video. Okay, and well, then I've I seen see the it. in the elevator yeah. video alone, and that paints a whole different picture. Not saying it's right, because I'm not sticking up for it. But like, if you watch the outside the yeah, elevator, she being she's crazy. hitting him. Yeah, she's being crazy. Even watching the but shorter he clocked one, her. Yeah. you can oh, tell. Oh, dude, I can't believe like she could have died. You see how her head hit the railing? Oh yeah, that was incredible. And the shorter one, you can tell that she's being crazy and like trying to hit him. Of but course, she's crazy. He he didn't need to knock her out. And then the way he just like kind of dragged her out and threw. That's her on the, the thing. That's the thing that <laughs> that that pushed me over the edge of even being like giving him any shred of doubt, is. If I was in an elevator with my wife and she was punching me and hitting me inside me, I would restrain her. Let's say I went nuts and did the same thing. Just boom, cold cocked her. Timber. I would have been like, oh, shit. You would have seen that happen in the video on my face. I'd be like, oh, shit. I can't believe I just said that. I would have went down there. I'd be like, baby, 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 wake up. Dude. Emotionless. He knocks her out and just like gets his phone out, kind of a well, thing. Well, the crazy like, thing is that they were engaged. Grabs her by the leg like a caveman and just drags her out of the elevator. I was like, gonna I say a primate, but you know. Oh. <laughs> it's crazy because they were what they were engaged and then after that married they him. got married. And yeah, they've still got married, married since then. And yeah. I, that's not a big deal to me. If I'm her, I get it. That dude beats Absolutely. the crap out of you. Get some money out of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd get my ass whooped for a half million a year. If I was a girl and I was in a relationship where a dude beat the shit out of me <laughs> and he's a bajillionaire, Absolutely. I'm marrying him. Kick my ass, please. And then I'm either going to divorce him and take half his money or kill him and say he tried to kill me. That's it. Prenup. That's a great idea. Yeah, you should get rich, <laughs> Joyce. <sighs> All right, so uh, did you see the Instagram post or whatever that she put out since this happened? Negative. All right, I'm going to read this to you. This is her Instagram post I don't know what after the oh, video officially came out pain. of inside the elevator. Then I think this might have been the day that he got released by the Ravens. Here is what her post said. I woke up this morning feeling like I had a horrible nightmare, feeling like I'm mourning the death of my closest friend. But to have, but to, have to accept the fact that it's a reality is a nightmare in itself. No one knows the pain that the media and unwanted opinion, well, she said options, but it should be opinions, from the public has caused my family. To make us relive a moment in our lives that we regret every day is a horrible thing. To take something away from the man I love that he has worked his ass off for his whole life to gain ratings is horrific. This is our life. What don't you all get? If your intentions were to hurt us, embarrass us, make us feel alone, take our happiness away, you've succeeded on so many levels. Just know we will continue to grow and show the world what real love is. Ravens Nation, <laughs> we love you. Snort. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, That's this, real love. This is you're you're in the face of the public when you become any kind of pro sports figure or any it's kind of celebrity. It's not even the point though. She's no, deflecting you know who is in the wrong. She here. actually she's, looks more gangster than you. She's does. saying no. it's an, oh yeah, she's a hood. Let me oh, yeah. see she's going straight back to Harlem. That says to me that Jesus. it's <laughs> normal for him to beat her. There's and this is just another n- after thing. After that watching happens. that video, there's no way that's the first time he's no, pushed her. No, no, absolutely not. Yeah, she's not. used no to way. it, so she doesn't think it's a big deal. Yeah. Well, that's because she's crazy. And she's in it for the money. Well, there you go. And there goes the money. I mean, she looks like a man. How long? How long do you get before there's a divorce? I'm surprised it's been as long as it is yeah, already. I, I, mean, so I don't it's, know. I think once the media dies down 
and everything quiets down. Oh, she's smart. She'll she do it now. She'd get more money out of it. I think within a year or two, if he's not back in football making money, that's when it's going to happen. Uh, he will be back in football. I mean, uh, she anyone got, can come. She got that lifestyle. I don't she needs know. that. Well, what do you mean you don't know? I mean, I don't know. Uh, who, oh, who, he's going to play who football. Left, who, play football. Who left football? For uh, the the pit bull thing, so Michael Vick, and, and, and what's going on now? He still plays football. I mean, no, he's he not does. a starter, but no, it's not because of that. I actually, I, I took a funny picture uh, uh, a few years ago, a picture with me in a Vic jersey with a black mask over my face, sitting next bull? to a dog. Yeah, yeah, weird. Well, it wasn't a pit bull, I don't think. But I'd rather someone fight dogs than punch women in the face. I don't think either one is very satisfactory. You're right, they're not. I don't think either one's very satisfactory. Uh, when Mendel used to be on the show. Uh, he actually went down to Puerto Rico, and they have stadiums yeah. where they have cockfighting and this stuff. This is like the that. only country in the world where animal That's fighting and stuff isn't a bi- like is a big deal. It's cockfighting. I, I mean, get it. When I mean, you he's use a scumbag. Mendel in the same like sentence as cockfighting, I can see how it could be taken the wrong way. But we are talking about birds. I, yeah, I bet you he'd disagree. And I mean, you know, you eat it can't the birds, be taken the wrong way. Dogs. Well, not in this country. <laughs> Anyways, either. the right way to take it. Hey, I didn't put this up there, but I might as well, being that we were just talking about it. Uh, I'll have to add this after. Is that uh, your pickup line? Mm, no. Oh, okay. Uh, disturbing new trend in Grand Theft Auto. A little, little bit late on the uh, segue there. Gotcha. Uh, disturbing new trend in Grand Theft Auto is virtual rape. Yeah, I've heard about this. <laughs> yes, I have heard about this. you got to tell me in detail because I haven't actually... Uh... Well, they, they do have some YouTube videos, and basically what happens is someone who hacks the game uh, actually gets in there and can bring all these players into a certain area. And your character ends up getting naked, starts humping the other player, bends them over, and does just, whatever they want to. You can't do anything about it, right? You just have to take There's it. literally nothing. You have to turn your system off to be able to get out of that function, like get out of that situation. Yeah, that that, but at that point, that's situation. like closing your eyes during a real one. I mean, it's, But, I mean, it's in a way, happened. it's kind of funny to see, I guess, unless it's happening it to is, you. It is, but... <laughs> I would think that's hilarious, but I would be pissed if I you, was you like going the, along in my game and all of a sudden someone just bent me over. And <laughs> of started, course, started but that, I would I'd be like, "What the hell?" I would, the fuck I would appreciate that. I'd be like, "Wow, that's pretty awesome." Here's the problem, though. This is a double problem with because this. they're able to hack into this shit. Period. No, is what pisses me off. It's because people think this is happening to young kids and and girl, and, you know, young kids and young girls. Guess what? You're supposed to be 18. Or those older. shouldn't. Those kids shouldn't be fucking playing this game. No, you're supposed to be 18. You're supposed to be 18. Yeah. But parents How don't. How often does that happen, though? Yeah, they don't pay attention to that shit. Like, I know when I, I mean, I, obviously the games weren't that violent, you know, when we were growing up. But, you know, my parents never paid any attention to the games they bought me. It'd just be like, I want this game. Oh, but Okay, I here you go. Rated I, R? I don't know what that when means. When I used to here sell go. games, I used to hate it when parents would buy games like that for their kids. I'm like, you yeah. have no idea what you're buying your kid. I mean, and I'm, sure, not, it, I'm not one of these people who thinks... Video games are causing kids to be more violent or desensitizing. I don't think that's happening. I don't think that's real. I mean, I mean, getting bent over and raped. Uh, I think that's in a video sick. game. Yeah, but still, I mean, you shouldn't see that as well. A in game. the game itself, you can pick up a prostitute and have them yeah. give you a mouth. Yeah, but that's been that's been back in the beginning. That as was a, a kid. Good, you when the car be, I can still do that squeaky, though. Squeaky, yeah, squeaky, I, squeaky. yeah. As a kid, you shouldn't be playing a game that's called Grant. The name of yeah, the game Grant is a Theft crime. Theft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is, I I don't know. I like how. It, this is what's funny about it, too, though. That is bad. Okay, I agree with you. You shouldn't have to see your character get raped in a video game. <laughs> but do you realize what the rest of this game is about? Stealing drugs, doing drugs, killing prostitutes, and murdering people. That's the but best, yet, is when you'd have sex with they, a prostitute and then you killed her. They one thing out to back. say that's unacceptable. Well, do you... Okay, here's one on here, that this isn't new to video games. Earlier this year, video game writer Kim Correa described her own virtual sexual assault in the zombie apocalypse game Day Z. Day Never Z. even heard about it's that. It's a cool game. It is? It's very realistic. Two armed men cornered her character, made her strip, killed her, and simulated having sex with her body. The players could speak to her through the video game through the, video game the entire time. See, I... That's pretty it's intense. So, it's That's so stupid, worse. though. It's so stupid, though. Like you just leave, well, it, it, yeah, just leave turn the it game. Off. I mean, take your headphones off. I'm not condoning the behavior. I, it's just it's to me it's stupid. You're playing a video game. It's not real. It's stupid. But That's it, like it, someone saying, "I was playing Counter Strike the other day, and my whole team was dead, and the other team <laughs> cornered me in the corner, <laughs> and then they shot me with guns and killed me. They made me watch my character die. Like, what's the difference?" You see, these kids are so involved with it. That's all they know. That's their world. That's the difference. But that, they don't I, understand I, that's anything fine. else. But what's the difference? Are they complaining about the people doing the same thing in the game and killing them and stealing their car and blowing up their car? And, oh, 
to blow your, blow up your car. It's going to cost you some money. No. It's just stupid. It, to me, it's stupid. Well, it's stupid all the way around, yeah. But, but you know, we obviously don't have that the mindset that some of these people do where that's all they do. That's their entire world. I mean, yeah, that's true. I just like, don't think we should like give. You I don't think we should give credence to this and stupidity. I couldn't, and I couldn't. And I couldn't even yeah, watch that a game. That doesn't make soccer stupid and irrelevant. Just because you don't like it, I'm yeah. saying this is stupid and irrelevant because. They're complaining about one atrocious, terrible thing in a game that is literally nothing, nothing but, but atrocious yeah. and terrible things. Like, yeah, that's true. It's, it's dumb. All right, last one here. Uh, it's about Hulk Hogan's restaurant. Everyone hear uh, the thing about his... Uh, Hogan's Shrimp Shack? Well, about his uh, dress code being racist. Oh, really? Oh, I haven't heard about that. All right, I'm going to go through a couple different things. And no it's, fubu? Is that? It doesn't say that. Uh, but I'm going to read some random stuff, and then it kind of breaks off saying, all right, well, it's going to get a little worse and a little worse. No, they had a dress code there. Oh, they do. Uh, uh, here it starts. Uh, all customers' uh, dress code be strictly enforced. Shirts and shoes required upon entry in the indoor area of the restaurant or hotel. Hogan's Beach. And must footwear. Must Shirt and black. shoes, standard procedure. No black shirts, no black shoes. Now, here it goes. Next one. No plain white tees or otherwise oversized T-shirts extending past the mid-thigh. P. Diddy's out. No, uh, no attire containing profanity or otherwise deemed to be offensive by management. All right, now that isn't. Ne- oh, plum wine oh, has that made an stuff appearance. Is so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, okay. Let's break off this for one second. And uh, when we went to uh, Epcot, uh, we got some in oh, Japan. Japan. Oh yeah. And did you get food and wine, or did you just go? To- I'll take some. We what did go to. That? Thank you. Plum wine, try it. It's really Just good. Just try, try a little sip of it. It's really sweet, but it's yeah, it really good. Some. We both have herpes, but no, that's a joke. <laughs> huh? uh, it's n- no, no big deal. No, he's saying herpes like is a herpes. joke. It's yeah, true. it's no it big is. deal. I peed in it, and I have herpes, so double Oral d- and double sword. all up in your lips. Double-edged sword. No? <laughs> yeah, you got to like sweet uh, stuff. Yeah, my, my taste buds were, were too Jack, sweet Jack for Jack his Daniels. tongues. Well, it you is you remember how I used to be. That's all I drank was Jack Daniels and beer. I drank that shit by the way. Hey, remember the days of having the... <laughs> Remember the days of having the, uh, was it Jack or rum that we had in that flask thing that used to sit on the countertop? Remember that? Uh huh. Is this at the two story, the upstairs place? No, no, no. This was at the. It no. was Jack. It was Jack. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're we're taking that with us and we're gonna use it again. I'm gonna Beautiful. break it back out. Beautiful. Yes. I remember you guys had that giant bottle of Jack Daniels at your last place on top of the fridge. That was his. Yeah, I know. That was. Thank you. That was not. What, the one point oh, seven five. Yeah, Avengers. The no, seven. I think it was bigger than that. I'm pretty sure it was bigger. It than was that. obscenely large. It was. I like, think it was. It like was like a, one of those fake ones you buy that, <laughs> to be a. I joke. don't think there was anything in it. What? I oh no, there was. What is this? What are we talking about? You, you, I think you might have gone so far as to buy one of those novelty ones and actually buy bottles and fill it. I, there was there was Jack in that thing. <laughs> I, How big was it? It was big. It was probably. It was probably 12 by 12 square and probably like 18, 24 inches high. It was big. Uh, I have. Uh, There's been some long nights. Yeah, right? I've, I've, I've. Show, obviously, not party to that. Yeah, I went, show I was went, not part of any of the I long went, nights. I went to the extreme. I drank Jack so much. I looked up online how much it would be for them to start bringing me a barrel. <laughs> well, and at the time. Uh, there was different. There was different. Um, is that the step after denial, or is that that's acceptance? I was. I was. I, I'm going to go very, acceptance. I was, I was, acceptance. I was very right acceptant of what I was. <laughs> I'm um, ordering barrels of whiskey. But no, there what was different. You, uh, there was different levels. <laughs> there was different. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to have a fucking barrel of Jack Daniels, and I wanted to be done with the barrel and make a as table cool as that would be. Wow. Well, no, they actually. Mila, no, Mila no. Kunis has that for it, Jim Beam. Did you see it, that uh, in the commercial? Ship it to you. It's actually they no. Will. It's actually this big big deal where um, if you do the highest one. It's they give you a single barrel, which is single barrel whiskey, uh, Jack Daniels, which is more expensive. It's actually made, you know, obviously one barrel. It's aged and all that, but they fly you out there, okay, and they do like a ceremony almost. That's awesome. And you get a gold plaque on the Jack Daniels distillery wall saying that you bought this barrel. So it's like a club. It's like a that's very a, similar yeah. to that Jim Beam commercial they have yeah, now, sure where they, they have them like stuff. stamp. You, know, you keep the barrel, barrel too, right? Yeah, the barrel's yours. Dude, yeah. and well, how they, much they, is it? They actually at Thousands. that time that was seventy six thousand dollars for yeah. that thing. What? 
<laughs> but it's it's the whole ceremony and stuff because you're actually Dude, a start your party. own brewery. I mean, at that well, point, start your own distillery. Is, is they will they will ship it to you afterwards, but the barrel is emptied and they bottle all the the entire barrel for you, so you have the bottles. The actual barrel is empty. I was gonna be like, that oh, was this a downer is like because I literally dollars. wanted to put a spigot on that some bitch and just start drinking it. Well, you could, yeah. no one says you can't pour them back into it. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> Jesus. It'd take forever. You could he, sell that barrel an official Jack Daniels on easily for a couple thousand dollars. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why it was so much. But it was like this like big ordeal. Seventy six. That was that was a top Good of the line Lord. thing. They could just like mail it to you for like I think it was like fifteen or something. How's the, the plum time. wine taste to you? Good. It's good. Okay. It's I mean, not, it's not super sweet either. It's more dry than normal plum wine. Well, because like it. we we've had it open for like probably like three uh, days or so. Bad. It's not gonna go bad. So it isn't like we've, normal we've wine. It starts to go. Weeks. Yeah, normal wine, you can start to taste it, like, go sour after a couple days, but this doesn't... Depends if you suck the air out and put a nice top on it. It'll yeah, well, this is to have the cap on Show it. Show style. Suck it out. Half a bottle, so. I bought my you mom one of those, my mom and dad, for a little pumps? birth. Oh, yeah, it's like it's like a three-part... F- no, nah, it's more than that. The like air it's six pumps? Part set. Yeah. wine bottle? And the, the light up on the bottom, oh, LED yeah. blue lights and everything. The one... <laughs> drills through, pulls the cork out, and then the other one, it comes with these stoppers you pump into it. And it sucks the air out and vacuum seals it on there, and I think it shoots like nitrogen into it. Yeah, so it's, it's like brand new. Awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty awesome. I've seen those before. Go, going back to the J- Jack Daniels expense. things real quick, uh, if you thought that that thing was impressive, the 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 big bottle at Chris's house said no one to show. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> ever, I'm sorry, said in sh- the history said show of show to no one. Um, when uh, my current my my wife and me we broke up for about a year. That's when I really started drinking. This was after Chris is living living at at Leisha's house. Um, yeah. I started drinking no, and I Leisha. literally, <laughs> I literally had bottles of whiskey around the oh, entire I remember, house. I remember you being pretty hardcore. No, this was this was that you was nothing. worse than oh, that. It was oh, bad. I, I'm talking that's a one point seven five a night. I remember a watching you it drink. Was, oh god, it was, it was like was, it was horrible. I would see you down almost a whole bottle and be like, dude, I I couldn't do that if I I'd be dead. Oh, I know. I, I yeah, would be dead. I, I I could drink Jack Daniels like it was Woo! water. It was ridiculous. And most people look at Jack and they're just like, uh, oh. Jack Daniels, if you're listening. The, <laughs> yeah, Grimace is visiting you after the show. Actually, my my brother right now, it, it, tomorrow is going to be in Lynchburg, Tennessee, to the distillery. Really? Yeah, he's going on a he went on a week vacation. And, oh, it must uh, be nice. New job. Oh yeah, making yeah. a ton no, of money. No, next week he's got off is too, it? so uh, it's amazing. You know, he's taking two weeks off. Is there a uh, tool convention? Is it craftsman yeah. tool convention? Yeah, tool time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's going to be up there ne- the, tomorrow, and he's I'm trying to get him to buy me a single square inch of the Jack Nails Distillery. Because they that's a, they they sell it and give you a little plaque and all that stuff says that you own part of the distillery. Do they do they neat. cremate you and turn you into? Part I hope of the so. Floor I hope they put me in the creek because once that once the once you're the in water, that juice, you're the secret yeah. ingredient at that yeah, point. Once the once the creek dries, that's it. Jack Daniels is no longer going to be made. I've well, heard that before. I, I heard that. something about they're that's not the going to make the glass anymore. Not that they're not the going to do that. That they're not doing anything with the glasses anymore. Wait, they own the a water creek? is there? It runs through. Well, it's right through the distillery. That's like cool. literally through the distillery. Well, I mean, how like low Guinness, is it? It's like the Guinness Brewery. Is it it's ever, slowly lowering? Yeah, or? but I mean, probably not in our lifetime. You know, but when it does happen, that's part of every whiskey wine. There's that special thing, yeah. and their water is one of their trademark sources. Yeah, and you know what'll actually happen in real life? They'll just keep making it, and it'll taste a little bit different, and they'll keep making millions and billions. You never of know; they they could be they could you know be one of these companies that aren't sellouts. It's not happening. You never know. If that was true, Listen. their bottles of whiskey wouldn't cost forty eight dollars. Listen, where are you getting forty eight dollars from? The big ones, I mean. No. The big ones, they're no. like forty bucks. No, forty, not forty eight. Oh, okay, well, all right, sorry. Forty uh, inflation. 40. We're I splitting hairs over eight. Inflation. Inflation. We're splitting yeah. hairs on eight. Forty one dollars and change. Okay, forty eight in New York. Forty here. All right, there we so go. Seventy five. Yeah, it's probably a lot. Oh no, no, no. The they cost. all don't smoke because oh, holy yeah, shit, absolutely. like twelve dollars a pack. Well, but we the, do drink and everything. But, yeah, but the, like a uh, a seven fifty or no, I shouldn't say a a liter a liter of Captain there is is thirteen ninety nine. That's what it was over here. It's no different here. That's cheap. It's exact same thing for a liter now 1.75 there might be a little more but it surprised me you'd think new york would have more taxes and stuff like that. it's it's really weird because things like that i was talking to will who's the they GM probably there. know how much they'd be missing out on well yeah and so many people buy it and but got, a lot of people go to corner and stores. all the poor people can't afford that bodegas all right yeah you're bodegas. cutting your market in half well okay the 24 ounce i think they're 24 maybe 25 bud light that we had at the uh at penn station the homeless they're 24 ounce from taco bell 
Um, That's amazing. Yeah, four dollars a piece. That's not that bad. Can I share a story? At the no, yeah, because in that one that kind of product is catering to low low class homeless. Well, all the people Borderline. coming in, all the commuters from New Street Jersey, walkers. Long Island, all that. Well, no, it's that would inside be inside underneath. But those, it's okay. We we go to uh, the amphitheater for a concert. It's eleven dollars, ten dollars yeah. for the exact same Absolutely. thing. Now, you go to Hooters, one of the, like one of the places that we went to. Um, how much is a beer there? I don't remember how much a beer was, but I know a pitcher of Bud Light is sixteen dollars and nineteen cents. Oh my god! But then that's we find tr- that's that's a twenty four pack more. That's yeah. Uh, your average oh, twenty four wow. packs is like seventeen ninety nine. So we go to this other place down farther south in How uh, much are wings? in Wall Street nine dollars area. And it's a place called Jeremy's Ale House. You can get a thirty two inch beer. I think we we had Bud Slack, oh, like but you can get Miller Lite. Well, no, just thirty two ounce in a foam cup, six bucks. Oh, you, you said just 30, gotta find you said thirty two inch. I was like, Oh, like one of the yards. I thought I said ounce. <laughs> No, um, uh, you just have to find the right place. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah. But um, were you, wings, ten wings, just twelve forty nine. That's not much more than it is here. Here, I thought it, it would have been eight and more change. Than that. Yeah. Or nine at nine forty nine. Like seventy five cents a wing. Yeah, yeah. So a little what, bit more. what? What is like the the cost of living difference between here and a New lot. York? But you're making. I told more. you how much you're our making one more. Bedroom apartment you're making is. enough yeah, more to where it's basically you're the same, you're in right? The heart of Harlem. So. It's gonna wash. Yeah, so it's basically so that's worth it. It's worth the experience. That's why I told you to go. It's worth it. For Do a it. year. Oh, you did tell him to go. I did. No. Yeah, you did. Who else told you to go? I was his. I was his one friend. And was it just the Todd? Hi, hey guys. Hey guys, guys, who told him how to long stay. does it take to experience something? Would you say it would Two take years. a year? At least a year. Good at year. least. It would take a good year. Well, leases don't go no, no, good no. years. Listen, they... you stay See? somewhere a year, you can say, "I'm from there. You I live. There. I've lived there." Right. Yeah, Two, three years. You resident. know everything there is to know about it. Then you can it. say, and I you can killed go myself at here. that point. Right. Yeah. Like, you know, you're if like, you want, and if you so choose, you can leave, having so experienced would, all that it has in to offer. Two, two or three years. Two, three years, you can say, I killed myself there. I'm not killing myself there. I might. I thought we already discussed this. She's murdering you once you hit the right. Yeah, no, yeah, she'll want to pull a double suicide. Well, let me kill you. It'll be a murder suicide. I'll film Let the, me kill I'll you, film and the then I'll kill myself. Where he knocks you out, and then we'll, you know, there'll be a fee involved. Nothing so too will, this, will this move uh, in two to three years when you've experienced all New York has to offer? Let's say a year. Uh, I, okay, well, can we ha- okay, happy can meeting we do of two years? Two years? It will say for hypothetically. Okay, we'll say Joyce, I for will, one. Will you will you come McBride. back to the Sunshine State or will you be advancing He'll to the visit. desert? He'll visit. To the desert? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna oh. move out to Vegas, aren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is oh, what I'm I, wondering. Like, look, I've seen this coming for years. years. Uh, I've seen that coming. Uh, yeah, for I years. mean, uh, I can't. Vegas remember. is yeah. real. Like, well, as soon as you turned, uh, probably before you were 21. Well, here's the thing. Here's here's. A, I have wanted to move for nine years. Our place, our place in in uh, McAlpine. He had like a shrine to Vegas. Yeah, it, it used to be right over there, but it's oh, in, yeah, it's the in a box. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah well, that was thing. like that was like center display in that apartment. That was like the only thing. Decorated. We should go to the casino before you leave. I probably won't have enough time. A couple hours. We should yeah. do that. Let's go now. Or at least do a poker tournament. Let's no, you know what? Let's do poker. When when Scott gave me the uh, money down for the thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had I had nineteen hundred dollar bills, and I go, dude, we gotta go to the casino. <laughs> I, I gotta go lose all this playing blackjack. <laughs> Let's be responsible. About no, I go. We could compound take this. It all out. <laughs> no, uh, that's the mentality the industry was built on. I my my thing about. I wanted to move, like I said, for nine years. But the yeah, thing is, is that uh, I've never had an opportunity to move somewhere with a job. I yeah. can't go somewhere That's knowing and That's doing anything. That's so this is the first opportunity that happened, and I think it's going to be a really good opportunity. I think it's going to work you, really man. good. Do it. But in the same sense, unless I'm guaranteed the job somewhere else, I couldn't go anywhere else but here where I'm guaranteed a job still. Right. So it's like, you know, I can't. I have to weigh my options in that sense. I have to go where I'm going to get paid. And that's, you know, I think you made the intelligence decision as far as your career with your company, you know, going where they're asking you to go, just showing that you, you know, are committed and all that. On bend a friend point of view. Bend, lean, uh, spit right. when Neil they and say Bob. spit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah but then, you know, on a swallow. friend point of view, yeah, it sucks that you're leaving, especially since we just started yeah, hanging out not again that big of a after he's several not that great. years. But yeah, so then again, you know, I didn't see you for, what, four years, so I'm, I'm not there even... There you go. He's not you know, that great. You, you and worst comes to worst. Man, I'm getting called out here. I believe a friend of mine may be renting your place, so... You know, it's, it's a win-win. Contact, you know. 
It's a win win lose. That's <laughs> win win no, lose. No, no, it's a win 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 for me because uh, right. my best friend's coming down here. So That's a win for every inch of someone's winner. So four wins equals four shows wins. dick. That's and then that's a good show. Loss. That's a good show. It four is. wins. All right, yeah, so an intern's loss. So the uh, <laughs> so the rest of this you're gonna have a good time now. So where it goes uh, with the no plain white tees? Now this was being accused of oh not, back to a racist yeah argument. being racist towards uh, African like American those, people like those black socks. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, I mean, not sure, you not thought about pretty it. Big shirts, don't they go down to about his knees? <laughs> if nah. you read that and you automatically at least something think does. At this point in his career, his tits go down to his <laughs> knees. <I don't> <laughs> <know>. <laughs> this is but I'm saying, you know, he's he's, he's 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 sporting that. the four plus. You know, I mean. Oh, tell tell McBride, he'll love this. What's this? What? What you just said? Oh my! This do you you know the story, right? Well, maybe no, we're I getting into it. Why are you this. pointing at okay. his dick and saying this? Uh, <laughs> oh, the phone. phone. I don't know if, oh, okay, phone. I don't know if I want. Short, um, short story. This is what <laughs> makes me mad about Degaff, like this situation, because this would. Be oh, this him. is his bread and butter. This is exactly. I'm, I'm sorry. This is his grits and butter right this here. This is what this. keeps racism alive, because nowhere in there is race. It's probably not. Okay. It's, it's probably just so white people of my truck. can wear all these things. If anything, he's be. If any, I haven't even heard what they are on the list. It's not racist. He's probably being, if anything, classist. Like right. a certain amount of money that right. you make. Yeah. That's, that's it. Goes, oh, well, mostly black people yeah, wear wait those hear the rest. long shirts, and now he's racist. <laughs> burn burn through this. Okay, okay. Get past All right, the shirt. so next section. Now, here's where it gets a little bit rough. No sports or sleeveless jerseys. No excessively baggy attire. Wait a second. No low-hanging no pants or shorts. sports jerseys? Yes. That doesn't even make sense. They show football there every Sunday. That's what it says. He doesn't want the... The, the last one was here. no low-hanging pants or shorts. Pants or shorts must be worn at the waist. Okay, that means he doesn't want douchebags in Yeah, he doesn't bar. want that's, asses That has nothing showing. to do with black people. And now here is the last There's section. There's no white people that wear their pants like that. No <laughs> chopsticks and fried rice. All right, now that's racist. I'm gonna no get... red and yellow. <laughs> no hats, caps, or bread. visors worn sideways or back-facing. Hats must be worn fully forward-facing at all times. No do-rags, skull caps, or bandanas. No torn or soiled. Whoa. Whoa. No work. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. No durags or bandanas? That's Are what it says. That so I'm guessing tire. Hulk's not allowed in his own he restaurant. He can't even go to his own restaurant. I know, I know. That's ridiculous. No work boots or no oversized or excessive jewelry. No work boots? What okay, about shoot so, boots? So he doesn't want bikers there. He doesn't what want about job blacks boots? there. He doesn't want job wrestlers boots. there. He doesn't want sports fans there. Well, That's who the hell does ridiculous. he want there? Apparently no now, one. Here, right after this last top, this last bar came out, it says, first off, Old no backwards-facing hats. Has anyone actually worn a backwards-facing hat since 1997? Yeah, a lot of Second, I can't get over the irony of Hulk Hogan telling someone not to wear a bandana. I mean, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. There's only one person in the world who it would be close to being as absurd if they said no bandanas, and that's Brett Michaels. That's it. Yeah. Ugh. Now, an update to this. Apparently, uh, Hogan took care of this pretty quickly, threatening to revoke their right to use his name unless they got rid of the dress code. Oh, so it's not Hogan. It's the people that's that hate, he That's what I hate about Hogan's has. Is he's not even involved. Like, no, I his namesake that. is on. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, for Halloween, Vanilla Ice is going to be there. Just what? You didn't know. Yeah, I'm going. It's 90s theme, so I'm going to go as Will Smith. Oh, my God. God. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You're going to go as Will Smith? <laughs> and Fresh Prince. I think you should be it Uncle, either that. You should be Uncle that. Phil, not Will. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uncle Phil I, died last my year. Hair, yeah, that's sad. Yeah. My, my hair this year, is not maybe really So you have to be the ghost of Uncle Phil. The ghost yeah. of the, yeah, I'm already white. Yeah, there I you like go. that. There you go. Ghost of Uncle Phil. Halloween costume. But but I was either going to go as Fresh Prince or Zach Morris. I mean, those are both 90s. I think I would fit either one of them perfectly. You could go as Zach Morris. Emphasis on more. <laughs> Is that a fat joke? <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, so was uh, Uncle so Phil. So was Uncle Phil. Well, I was more worried about the receding hairline than the... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, vanilla ice. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's awesome. pretty awesome. I'm all about that. That's 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 definitely worth going to. As long <coughs> so as he plays ninja rap. If he doesn't well, play what ninja was rap, he's, he's, he's going to. I mean, he had two hits. He's got to play them both. I mean. What was it? Memorial Day, I think that uh, Degaff went there and Little John was there. Now, if that isn't like, against uh, all of the dress code. Hold here. on, hold on. What? <laughs> you said Little John was there. I so said Little John. Instantly, I'm thinking the guy who ran with Robin Hood. No. Oh my God! So Lil John or Little John? Lil. It's the big difference. Uh, Lil. 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 Wait, that's the same place that it says big a difference. Yes. It says big a difference is ending a word in E R or A. They're just like, hey, we're gonna newly totally different meaning. 
Yeah. They waited till after Lil John. Oh, Lil John. I know him. Yeah. <laughs> we go way back. All right. So uh, uh, we're going to do another one of these before I leave. So I'd this like isn't to. the last show. I'd like to. Hopefully. I think we should do at least three, but you know. At least three well, more? It's, maybe four on. more show being in the last one. It's not the uh. last show. We could probably do three, maybe four more. <laughs> Show's going to listen to this and he's going to end up killing me, I think. I or himself. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll. Uh, He'll be all right. Yeah, so maybe Friday, maybe Sunday, we'll make something work. As long as I can mow the lawn Friday, that's all I care about. That's it. Now you got to mow the lawn before the new the new tenants move in. I mean, that's just yeah, because it's going to be bad enough that there's already going to be over a two week period before he gets here. So yeah, I know a guy. Them. If you don't feel you like warn them right. about the hole. <laughs> Hole's covered. Oh, hole. it's still there. Hole has though. been covered. Is it covered or filled in? Filled in. Okay, then the hole's not an issue. Yeah. So uh, you should you should reveal that though that it is at least there because if the hole what if it like presents itself again? Okay, like so where the sprinkler system would be underneath, there's caps for the you know in in the yard. There's green caps that go there. Well, the green cap disintegrated. Definitely not a sinkhole. The green cap disintegrated and it opened up a hole because it didn't have a cap. So I filled why it in with you, dirt. Why didn't you was just that the only one who like not work? Degaff thought that was like the end too. of the world, the hole in the side of your house. Do what? Like that he was. Wasn't it show? It was the show. It was show. Because oh, I remember show? the first I time I came here. No, no. I show. remember the first time I came here. Show was happy. There was no hole. Show did repeatedly bring it up. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. Well, what's anything. new with that? Whenever shows around, there aren't any holes. That's they. And nothing gets repeatedly <laughs> brought up. <laughs> the holes run, run for the hills. Uh, all right. So, uh, I guess until next time. Until next time. See you. <laughs>